Okay, now here's the example that really blew me away. And stoplight recognition, whoa, huge phantom brake there. <laughs> That's not what I'm talking about. What is going on everybody? Today, we are taking a look at version 2020.12.1. If you can see here on the in-car web browser, I've brought up Teslify, which shows kind of the percentage of cars that at least use Teslify have this version. I didn't realize it was so low. I thought a lot of people were getting this version. So I thought I'd share it with you. Now the release notes are the same as 2020.8. There's nothing new there, so it was supposed to be bug fixes, but there are some new things I'm noticing. So if you look here, hopefully it's gonna happen. As we come towards this uphill, I've noticed the car is starting to slow just a bit when it goes up hills. And I think that's in preparation for the stop sign and stoplight recognition. Whoa, huge phantom brake there. <laughs> that's not what I'm talking about. Um, that does happen sometimes on side roads but I, I figured I'd let it play out so you could see it since no one was behind me. But right here, you maybe couldn't tell, but the car kind of slowed just a little bit going up that hill. And the reason I assume it's doing that is so it could see what's coming up looking for stop signs or stoplights coming up because if you watch my other video, I'll link to that. There's more details about why it would do that. We're coming up to the dirt roads here and I noticed something really interesting. So you have this graphic on here where when you approach a stop sign or an intersection, it'll put up a line right here to show you kind of where that intersection is or where the road dead ends. Now, when these new visualizations first came out, these never showed up on the dirt roads. So this has been a progress. Like even right now, you can see, you know, these two lines here that the car's kind of guessing where the road is. Those never used to show up. And then they kind of slowly were added to the point where now on this version, they're pretty much here the entire time on the dirt roads. And it's pretty darn accurate. I haven't had a great time enabling autopilot on the dirt roads, although I will do it if uh, I have the opportunity here. But then the visualizations were added, the trash cans and the, and the cones and things like that. And that line, that line that you would see representing the intersection was not on dirt roads. Then in the 2020.8 update, I started to notice that line just a little bit more where sometimes it would show, you know, the end of an intersection on a dirt road, uh, but it wasn't very reliable. Well, now it's like every time. And the coolest thing that's happening now is this first one that we're going to come up to here. You'll see we're going uphill. And so you cannot see the intersection. I can't see it. You won't be able to see it but the car still has that line there representing the fact that an intersection is coming up. So I would assume this is due to map data. The maps know that I'm coming up to this dead end where it's a T intersection and the car is just getting ready for the intersection to come up because in this new update that we're gonna get hopefully soon, I would assume it's gonna be within the next three months or so where the car stops at intersections, the car is just gonna be prepared. Even though it can't see the intersection, it's gonna to begin to slow down until it can see it and then it will know exactly where to stop or pretty close. Um, again, on dirt roads, I don't know exactly what it'll do because it may not work at all, but it's gonna use vision to determine where that stop line is and stop at it. So here we go, we're coming up to this uphill and you can't see anything yet, but right here, there's the line. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. So I'm gonna stop right here, there's nobody behind me. I cannot see the intersection yet. I can see the stop sign, I'm sure you can see the stop sign. And the car is displaying the stop sign right here with the intersection. Now if I back up just a little bit, so again, at this point, you can't see the stop sign either. You can't see anything, all you can see is we're going uphill. And I don't know if it's showing up on the camera, the line's really faint but way up there, the car is displaying an intersection line. Let me get out of this guy's way really quick. Nobody's behind me still. So here's that line, hopefully you can see this. It's very faint even to me, I can barely find it. But it's displaying this intersection even though we're nowhere near it. So let's get this reset, and it wants to park us here. <laughs> uh, so there we go. So now of course we can see the intersection, so not too surprising, the stop sign is displayed. Uh, and then if I had my traffic aware cruise control on and I had this new ability, I would assume the car would stop hopefully right about here. Uh, and there you go. There's the line. Even though there's nothing painted on the road, the car's still guessing. Now, another thing I'm noticing is the visualizations overall are way more sensitive. So coming up to these little dudes on the left here, um, you can see they're not displayed and here they come. They're starting to pop up. And these never used to be displayed before 2020.12.1. It never showed anything. I tried so many times to go buy these things 
and uh, see if it would show me what they were, and it never saw them. And now it's displaying pretty much all of them. This video is sponsored by the Model 3 Part Shop. Use the code Dirty Tesla to get 15% off anything site-wide. Link is in the description. So again, coming from the other direction here, you can see it's not showing them all. It's kind of going in and out. But again, this is something that never ever was displayed before. And now it's picking up a good amount of them. Now I'm not saying that little graphic is new, the little representation, that's been there. But the car wasn't showing those specific examples before. This is something new. And I have a few more coming up here as well. So we can see on this part of the road, that the bend in the road is represented pretty well. I'm curious if I turn my wheel. So that's not affecting it. The cameras are seeing that this dirt road curves over to the left and it's representing that on the screen. Also, cars come in the other direction. The car is getting better and better at this. Okay, so another example here, these two yellow sticks on each side of the road, you can see they're being displayed. It's kind of confused whether it should display a cone or this stick uh, representation here. And these are another thing, again, that wasn't showing up. This graphic is not new, but the fact that it's displaying these uh, warnings on each side of the road, that is new. It didn't used to display that. Okay, so another example coming up, again, on the dirt road, you can see if I stop here, the car has a really accurate representation of where this intersection is. It's straight ahead, it's got the stop sign. Now, part of it may be because of the stop sign, but I do have another example I'll show you in just a minute. No stop sign, and it still is showing this same uh, kind of end of the road line, and it's pretty accurate. So let's see here, if I pull up, seems like it's still far away, but right as you pull up, like this is where, if my ability was enabled, where it stopped at intersections itself, it looks like this is just where it would stop, maybe even a little bit before this, which is right at the stop sign, so really good. Okay, now here's the example that really blew me away. You can see how far away we are from this uh, dead end here, this T intersection. And on the line, I'm hoping this shows up okay for you, or on the map, here's the line. The car knows that's the end of the road and that's where it's gonna stop. Now, the crazy thing about this one, again, let me try to, move up here so there's that line this is where the car would stop if if i had uh, tack on and it was driving itself theoretically anyway that's what it says in the leaked documents about this new ability and this is what really blew me away because we're still so far the car knows it's there now the theory is that it can use map data to know when a t intersection is coming up and that may be the case but this road actually wasn't even on google maps uh, maybe a year ago or a year and a half ago and it's been added since then but um, it's possible that it's not in whatever database that Tesla is using. It's possible, of course, that it is in there. Um, but again, there's no line here. There's nothing for it to actually see with the cameras. So it would either be the camera can detect the drivable space, which I think is where Tesla is going here, is just drivable space rather than just going off the lines and stuff, or it is the map data. It's really anybody's guess at this point. Uh, but so you can see we're past the point where it would stop. It's keeping that line there, even on this view, and it's moving it. So it is getting a little confused by this. And if we put it back in drive, yeah, it puts the line right here. So this is where it would stop if it was driving on its own. So this is some pretty good evidence that Tesla's getting ready for this stop sign and stop light uh, and stopping at intersection ability. And I'm really excited for it. If you haven't seen my video about it, definitely check that out because uh, there's a lot more scenarios that are covered in that. Um, and some people are, are underwhelmed that it's gonna slow down and stop at every intersection, even a green light. But I think it's the way to go, it's the way to start, just to be safe. Uh, and then as it gets better, they can release, you know, going through green lights and only stopping at reds. So I hope you enjoyed this one. I look forward to talking to you down in the comments and you will see my car in the next video.